Hi everybody! I haven't done a haul in so long, so today I thought I would do a very, very big haul. I'm gonna try not to make this video so long, so let's go ahead and get started. I finally got the NARS Luminous Weightless Foundation. This is the only high-end foundation so far, besides Spare Minerals, that I found doesn't have, you know, any glycol, parabens, all that stuff. So I have been wearing this a lot. Basically, this is the only thing I've been using. Um, I struggle with it, to be honest. It's, it's cakey on my face and um, apparently it's oil-free. And I have been struggling with dry skin, so I was hoping that this would help. But, I mean, I'm wearing it today. Sometimes I have to do it again, like I have to take it all off and then put it back on because it's just... I don't know how to make it work. I've tried um, a sponge, I've tried a brush, and I don't know. I, I found that the only way it would look even remotely decent is when I don't put a whole lot. I asked on Twitter if someone could please, please, please send me this magazine and someone replied and said that they could and I'm very thankful. I am talking about Glamour with Tanya Burr and the cover. I'm so thankful to, I think her name's Rebecca on Twitter. Thank you so much for sending this to me. And she went out of her way because I asked to go and get the one with the lipstick Nude Pop from Clinique. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't wear it as often. I thought that it would suit me but... I don't know if it suits my skin tone, but I wear it anyways. Um, I probably would be wearing it more in the spring or summer. Um, but yeah, I'm so thankful for this too. I was shopping at Target recently and I just decided, you know, I'm going to look around the um, school supplies kind of kid section. And oh my gosh, I finally found the 24 colored pencils. I have been looking for this at every Target that I go to and finally they have stopped it. Oh my gosh, the colors look beautiful. They have magenta and they have pink. I cannot wait to color my book with this. I'm so excited. I have been very bad with going to the gym and actually working out. But the one thing that had inspired me to go more often is Under Armour. So someone at work told me about this brand. I was at the outlet mall and somehow I saw the logo for this brand and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go there. I need to see what kind of stuff they have and if I can buy it. So I bought two new sports bras and you would not believe how much these cost. They were $13 and they're so cute. So that's the first one. This is the second one. Um, I don't know why I got blues. I guess maybe they're the darkest one besides black that um, would work for me. I wanted to get like an orange one but um, that didn't work out. <laughs> so I would highly recommend these for sports bras. They're so affordable if you get them from the outlet mall. Um, and you know, they, they seem really sturdy. You know how much I love OGX brand and there's a few scents that I always go to, and this is my favorite so far. It's the Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco. This one is new. It's extra strength. I don't know what that means. It says, this is renewing, and this is hydrate and repair. Um, but I just love it. I love the smell, and I love how it makes my hair feels, and I'm just very thankful for this brand. And it doesn't have, you know, sulfates, parabens, all that stuff. I found this brand at Target and I decided, you know, I'm going to look at the ingredients and see if they're any good and um, they are all natural and amazing products and they smell so good. Ooh, one of them is leaking. And I'm talking about Shea Moisture. If you haven't tried this brand, please go ahead and try it. They smell amazing and they make my skin feel so good. This one is the Raw Shea Butter Body Wash, and wow. At first I thought, oh my gosh, I smell like an old lady. But then I'm like, you know, who cares? I like the smell of Shea. Um, and it has frankincense and myrrh. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know, but it's so good. Like it's, It makes my skin feel so moisturized while I'm washing my body. So definitely would recommend this. Check it out. 
I wanted like a slightly cheaper body moisturizer than the one that I'm gonna talk about next. Um, so I found this, it's the Olive and Green Tea Body Lotion with Avocado. Oh my goodness, I did not know that I would actually like the scent of this, but as soon as I applied it on my body, wow, I love it. You know how much I love um, like really subtle smell? This is, I mean not as subtle, but it's not like in your face super strong smell. So I definitely recommend this. Check it out if you're at Target or something. It's amazing. This next product, it's just ridiculously expensive. Um, so I always get it on sale and it's the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Body Cream. I actually bought this to be um, a backup for the one I currently have that I'm almost done with, but I feel like I'm just going to stick with Shea Moisture for now and I'm going to give this to someone for like a Christmas present and because I promised them I'd send it to them. So they, they don't watch my videos, but they're getting it. It's amazing. I don't use soaps as often as I used to, but when I saw this at a store that me and my mom went to, I was like, I am buying three of these. I just love them, but I found that I don't buy them often enough because I forget. And these are the Bee and Flower soaps. And I got two rose one and one sandalwood. Oh my gosh, they smell amazing. They're so tiny, but I mean, if you don't use soap often anyway, because I use um, body wash to, you know, when I take a shower. These are amazing. I don't know if you can use it on your face, but, oh, oh, it smells so good. Um, and I put it right in my nightstand um, because I'm not using it yet, and it smells so good. Every time I lay in bed, I just think to myself, oh my gosh, I just love the smell of those soaps. So, yeah, if you haven't tried these, the, I, can, I found them at like a like a specialty Filipino store. I also found them at Sprouts. I don't know if they have it at Whole Foods, but check it out. You can find it on Amazon for sure, so they are amazing. I've collected a lot of skincare products um, from the time that I did my last haul and also because my products ran out at the same time. So um, the first one that I bought was the Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula. Um, I asked someone and they said this is the most natural um, toner that you could use. So I bought it and it's rose petal. I like the smell of rose. And it's a huge bottle. So yeah, it's, it's nice. This next one, I was looking for a new cleanser and they didn't have the one I liked. So I thought I'd try something else. And so I tried the Burt's Bees Soap Bark and Chamomile Deep Cleansing Cream. And clearly I did not read the back side of this because I missed the part where it says it has a hint of menthol for cooling and soothing properties. Trust me, it's not just a hint. Like literally, I my face was like cooling in a weird way. It, it, it was weird <laughs> the first time I used it. So I don't really know how I feel about it. Um, I might review it on my blog, so check it out. The link is in the description. I repurchased the Hydroluron Moisture Jelly from Indeed Labs. As soon as I repurchased it, I realized that it has glycol in it and I was not very happy with that. I might be giving this to my mom. Um, she needs some moisturizer, she doesn't really have one, so I might just give this one to her. This next product, I also did not know it has glycol, but so far it's been the best one that I've used in the market for moisturizers. And I'm talking about the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief. This is the only one I'm using right now, especially with my skin really dry. I don't know why, um, but I got this for, I would say $10 because Ulta and Clinique decided to send me, um, what is it, like a gift uh, voucher or something saying if I buy any Clinique products, regardless of what it is, I'll get this for free. I was like, Oh yeah, so I bought the Clinique Travel Makeup um, Remover and this is $10. So technically this cost me $10. Um, yeah, so I'm very happy with that. The very last product of this haul is a new serum and this is the Reviva Hyaluronic Serum. 
Um, I don't really know what I think about it yet. Compared to the Hydroluron Serum from Indeed Labs, I don't know if I like it more. But it, this is definitely more natural than the Indeed Labs one. Um, yeah, if you have used this before or any of the products I mentioned, please let me know what you think in the comments. And yeah, that is all that I have purchased or received in the last few months. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!